Hello, good evening, my friends. Uh, welcome to uh, class on Friday. Bienvenidos a una nueva clase ya el viernes, the last day of the week, receiving classes. El último día de la semana para recibir clases. So that's a really good news. Una buena noticia. So let's see who is there. Do we have Carly? Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Good. Um, bad. Good. And the weather is very hot. Yes. Uh, uh, the weather is hot and it's like very desperate sometimes. Right? This is better. Yes. Desperate sometimes. Yes. Mm, and in some cases, it is hot because after that it's going to rain sometimes but not yes. always not always okay so very nice carly nice to see you here we have also francisco hello frank good evening okay um we're going to see frank in a moment but let me let me show you something. Okay. Here we have a uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, William, Gabriel, Judith, Marvin, Elizabeth, Helen, Ivania, Santos, Rosa Flor, Catherine, Joseph. So here we have the class number 10. Okay. And here we have this is review of unit two and practice. Vamos a tener una pequeña, pues, eh, retroalimentación, uh, short feedback about unit two. And remember, this is the class number 10. It means that we are at the middle, I'm sorry, in the middle of the course. Ya estamos a mitad del curso. So these coming classes is going to be shorter. Van a ser más cortas. Van a sentir más corto este tiempo. I know. Because the most difficult thing is to start. El inicio es el difícil. To start is difficult. But then when you will go to, to the middle, it is going to be easier. Va a ser más fácil. Okay. So uh, in this case, here we have um, a question. That it is not part of the speaking activities. It's just a, a general question. Es como una pregunta general. Do you have siblings? Do you have a favorite? Okay, when we say siblings, we are talking about brothers and sisters. Okay, if you ask, if you ask, um, do you have brothers? It means that you have uh, like boys in your family as brothers. And when you say, do you have sisters? You are talking about girls. Girls in the family, okay? Brothers es hermanos, sister, hermanas. But siblings is both. Aquí está la palabra. Both significa ambos, okay? Both ambos. So when a person says, do you have siblings? Yes. Okay, how many? Okay, one brother and one sister. So I'm going to ask you and you tell me one brother, one sister, two brothers, two sisters. In the case that you have hijos únicos, you can say no brothers, no sisters. Okay, so let's ask to some of you. Kathy, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Okay, tell us, do you have siblings? Yes, okay. two brother, one sister, um, media hermana. Step sister, sister. A step sister. Very nice. Step sister. Mm -hmm. Good one. So here we have this. Ah, Catherine, do you have a favorite? Because sometimes we have like brothers and sisters, we talk more. 
Yes, yeah, yes, my brother. Number one. one two, three, my brother. Number one. Number one. Oh, wow. Espero que no escuche. Nice, Kathy. Very good. <laughs> now let's listen to Carly. What about you? Do you have siblings? Yes, I have a one brother and five step brother. Wow. Your yes. brother was very hyperactive. Yes. <laughs> and a pocket hyperactive. Okay. Uh, so, do you have a favorite brother? No. Brother or brother? No. You love them the same. The same as you were. No. I mean, good. Okay. No, nobody. Okay. Or not. Demasiada sinceridad, Carly. Okay. Uh, well, uh, thank you for the information, Kelly. We have also Marvin. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Okay, tell us, do you have siblings? And um, I have two sisters and one brother. Okay, do you have a family? Hola, hola. Do you have a favorite? Uh, uh, the three, not three. The three, the three, the same. Podemos decir así, I love them the same, same es igual o lo mismo. Let me change this color. So very nice. Okay, good, Marvin. We go now with Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. Yeah, sure. Okay, tell us, do you have siblings? Mm, two brothers. Two brothers. Okay, do you have a favorite brother? No. No, no, not really. Mm -hmm. This is no. otra... Otra respuesta. Si quieren, anotenme. Cuando mm -hmm. eh, alguien le pregunta... Do you have a favorite movie? Not really. Do you have a favorite food? Not really. No, la verdad, no. Así, eso significa. O la verdad es que no. ¿Okay? O no realmente. Not really. Es una manera fácil de decir que, que no. Y, y amable. ¿Okay? Uh, let's listen to uh, Frank. Do you in Frank? Hello. Francisco. Eh, hi, teacher. Eh, oh. Estoy acá. Castigado. Con un pequeño, con un pequeño, ¿qué? Alboroto. No, 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 no es alboroto, pero ahí ensayo en iglesia y me está costando ahorita escuchar un poco, pero sí, sí tengo hermanos. Yes. You have sí, hi, brother. We are. 12 in total. 12 brothers. Dos hermanos. Yes. Como que son los apóstoles. Yes. Okay. And all of them brothers. Exactly. Or sisters. Brothers. I or am uh, first. You are, you are the first one, primogénito. First one. Yes. Okay. Si y, uh, yes, is favorite for, for my second sister. Good. Second sister. Very nice. Ah, ya escuché, es, es iglesia evangélica, ¿verdad? O es católica, es no. renovación carismática. Eh, católica. Es la renovación. Lo que pasa es que hoy iniciaron, la, iniciaron lo que son las fiestas patronales. Ya, no sé, sí. Sí, sí es que escucho ciertos instrumentos. Y pero... no encuentro los audífonos. Bueno, te, te castigaron, te los no escondieron. No encuentro los audífonos, pero me está costando. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, very nice. Si, si los encuentras bueno, sería lo ideal. Pero okay. sí, aquí estoy. Okay, very nice. Okay. Thank you. We go now with Nelson. Hello, teacher. Hello. We are talking about siblings. Do you have siblings? Um. I had a brother that I don't know on the father's side. 
Okay. Um, my other, uh, my, my other, other brother, mm -hmm. my other brothers, um, uh, is recuing in peace. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. So tell us, um, the brother you don't know is step brother, right? Hermanastro. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Good. And it is good to know step brothers. Okay, es bueno conocerlos. Um, that, that's uh, good because you can know uh, other aspects of your family. Y también para la gerencia, el Starbucks. Okay, no, but good. Yes, in my case, I have one step brother that I don't know. I don't know, but I have heard, I have heard about him. But honestly, I have never seen him. Nunca lo he visto. Okay, that's really good. He's a warm hermano. Okay, so let's see. Patty, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Are you teacher, okay? Me acaba de conectar y no he hecho la tarea. Okay. Ah, pero esa fue demasiada honestidad porque esta no es tarea. Ay, lo siento, tarea, te salió ¿verdad? por la boca muere el pez. Pero, okay. okay. No estoy preguntando, do you have siblings? ¿Tienes hermanos? Yes, teacher. One brother. Okay, one brother. That's good. Okay, perfect. And do you love him? Lo amas? Lo quieres? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Patty. Haz la tarea. Yo te voy a preguntar. William, good evening. Okay. Okay, maybe William is not uh, available. Uh, uh, hola, teacher. Hello, todo bien? Everything okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. Do you have siblings? Yes, uh, say brother. Six brothers. Six brothers. Okay. All of them men. Todos son, son varon, eh, hombres. Uh, or sisters. Mixed. <laughs> mix. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Dos, uh, dos, uh, two two brothers. Two sisters. Uh, two sisters. Sí. Yes. Okay. Two sisters and four brothers. Okay, very yes. nice. Thank you. What about Judith? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, do you have siblings? Yes, three sisters. Oh, nice, three sisters. Do you have a favorite? I love them the same. You love them the same. Oh, that's really good. I like to yes. hear that. Thank you. Okay, what about Flor? Good evening. Good oh. evening, teacher. Uh, Hola, teacher. Okay? Hi. Are you okay? Hola, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Do you have a seat? Hola. Yes. Um, I have two step sisters and one step brother. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that, that, that's good to know. Okay. Stepsister and Manasa yes. and one step brother. Do you have good relationship with them? Good? No. No. Not really? Mm, no. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. It is common that some step brothers or stepsisters have like a lot of differences. A veces hay muchas diferencias. Yes. Okay, I understand that. Thank you. Flor, uh, what about Elizabeth? Hello, teacher. Oh, okay. Yo creí oh. que no me iban a preguntar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have siblings. I have two brothers. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, you have siblings. Siblings es hermanos y hermanas. Okay, so uh, two uh -huh. brothers. No, I don't. Okay, two uh -huh. brothers. Okay, perfect. two brothers, no more. Okay, no more. And um, do you have a good relationship with them? Yes. Te lleva bien? Mm, sí. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you. And what about David? Are you driving, David, or are you at home? No, teacher. Okay, are you okay? Uh, yes, I have 
uh, four siblings. Four siblings. Uh, brothers, sisters. Uh, your sisters. Oh, really? You are the only yes. man. Okay. Do you have a good yes. relationship with them? Everything okay? Yes, with okay. all of them. Okay, perfect. Nice. So you know a lot of secrets of women, and that's good because you can understand the way they behave, cómo se comportan, and it is good, right? It is not always easy, no siempre es fácil, right? But good that you have good relationship. Very nice. Okay, so uh, we're going to do another activity. And here we have, do you mark your events on your calendar? Do you attend your events? Sometimes we use the cell phone to remind. A veces utilizamos el eh, celular. Yo lo utilizamos para recordar eventos. And we have reminder que son recordatorios. Okay. Entonces, en este caso, um, we use calendars in physics, utilizamos calendario en físico, or we use cell phone or apps. Okay. So, in that case, we can remember some events. For example, birthdays, uh, anniversaries, we have meetings. Okay. A lot of activities that we need to have in order because we are kind of busy, so we propose and we don't remember the exact date or the, the exact time. Okay, so that's it. How do you remember your future events? Okay, let's listen to some of you. What about Roberto? How do you remember your future events? Roberto, futuro, como lo recuerdas? Cell phone, calendar, secretary. WhatsApp group? My calendar and okay. my cell phone. Yes, I guess we have like alarms to do that. Okay, that's it. And what about you, Nelson? Um, how do you say uh, antes? Before. Uh, before um, calendar. And now I uh, use uh, a lot of uh, cell phones. Yes. I guess that even the use of agenda, the use of agenda was very common in the past. Okay. And, but nowadays, uh, nowadays, the cell phone is the only thing that we, we need, right? Because it has alarms, tiene alarmas. Okay. And that's really good. But in some other cases, it was on our, it was uh, agendas, okay? Before significa antes y after significa después. Aunque la palabra after, no sé, como que tiene un, por la letra A, quizás tiene como una media asociación como decir after, antes, after, antes, pero no. After significa después. Ahora, ¿cómo recordarlo? El after party. Imagine you're having a party, tienen una fiesta, and it ends with, the, creo que Nelson tiene, Nelson has a, a party tonight, maybe, maybe, pero lo veo bien feliz. Okay, good. That's, that's the attitude. No, okay. si me invitaron a salir ahora, yo no, I don't know, I, I have class. <laughs> wow, so very responsible, man. No, le queremos mucho, pero, pero, yo creo que la pospuso, que te manden la ubicación. No, en el establo, pero yo dije, me da 10 minutos. Va, no. el establo, excelente. La no, me quedo en la casa. Voy a ir un par de hopes ahí. Oh. Mejor mañana. Ok, yes, yeah, Saturday. Good one, good one. Ok, um, in the case of uh, the party finishes at 1 a.m. Digamos que la fiesta termina a la 1 de la mañana. And, and you want to continue in the party. So you, say, you, maybe there are some people that say, ok, let's continue the party. And that's called after party, ¿verdad? Después de la fiesta. Or when you uh, go out at 4 or 5 p.m. and you want to have some, some talks. A veces quieren platicar con, con algunos amigos, amigas en, de la oficina. You go and you have after office. Después de la oficina, cuando salen, van obviamente a tomarse un cafecito. ¿Verdad, Roberto? 
al cafecito, a, a, algo bien sano, que hay un postre, dessert, no, no otra cosa, ok. That's after office. Ya si los otros toman otro tipo de bebidas, that's different as well. So that, that's important to keep in mind after because that word confuses. Esa palabra confunde realmente. So before, antes, after, después. So we can have like those kind of words that podemos tener esa, esa frase como after office, after party. Mm, entonces ya after, ya nuestra mente ya, ya está como configurada que significa después. Okay? And before, antes. Okay? So uh, let's continue with some other um, vocabulary. vocabulary. Y esto es bastante importante. Sí. Ok. Um, we're going to have a pair work. Vamos a tener un trabajo en pareja. Ok. Or in groups of three. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Write about something you have to or need to do these days. En este caso vamos a utilizar el have. Ahora, quiero, quiero comentarles algo. Por ejemplo, August, August, nineteen. August, nineteen. And here we can say one. Okay. Thank you. We have Stalo, Mopal, Commissioner Nelson. Okay, Stalo, I guess maybe it's a restaurant. Okay, so uh, you can say, I have to, what do you have to do? See, si vamos a escribir, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Voy a arreglar ese cuadro porque aunque hace falta Okay, le hace falta un poco de esa actividad. Ok, ahora que le voy a mostrar este cuadro, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Ok, tenemos este cuadro y aquí vamos, no está lo what, ¿verdad? Ahora le puse what, when, what time, where. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Básicamente, vamos aquí a ponerle, um, digamos, meeting. I have to check. 
Entonces, digamos que ustedes tienen que revisar inventario. Entonces, ustedes escriben acá, I have to check inventory. Okay. Y ya está acá. Luego, ¿cuándo tienen que revisar el inventario? Ok, bueno. Entonces, aquí escribimos, oh, was Luego tenemos, what time? 2 p.m. Y where? Podemos poner warehouse. Que es la, es, es la bodega. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, tenemos, um, déjenme ver. 1, 2, 3, and 4 columns. Tenemos cuatro columnas, ¿verdad? Entonces, en esas cuatro columnas, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? En la primera vamos a escribir what, o sea, qué. Luego, aquí vamos a escribir I have to. ¿Qué cosa tiene que hacer? Luego tenemos when, cuándo. Y le ponemos agosto y le, y le ponemos alguna fecha. Luego tenemos what time, a qué hora. To PM. ¿Y dónde? Y le podemos poner warehouse, podemos ponerle workplace, podemos ponerle company, podemos ponerle San Salvador, eh, San Marcos, o whatever you want to say. ¿Verdad? Entonces tenemos cuatro campos. Lo que tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo? ¿A qué hora? ¿Y dónde? ¿Okay? Así que sí le hacía falta esta, pues, esta parte de acá. Um, entonces sería eso que vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres, ¿verdad? Entonces lo que vamos a hacer básicamente es solo decir, por ejemplo, elijamos dos. Dos actividades que vamos a hacer. Aquí tenemos una eh, eh, y utilizamos otra. Ustedes hacen un, el cuadro en su cuaderno y lo preguntan. Luego yo les voy a explicar cómo van a hacer el report. Cómo van a hacer el report. ¿Ok? So that's it. Mientras ustedes completan ese cuadro, porque no vamos a ir a trabajo en equipo, voy a... I'm going to check the attendance list. Reviso la lista de asistencia. Ok. So we start with Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. Hello. Hello, thank you. Flor. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Ok, en Gabriel parece que estaba... Hi, teacher. Ya, aquí en casa. Very nice, thank you. Ok, Helen, no sé si va a movimiento, Helen. Ok, Iris, I don't know if Iris is connected. Hola. Ok. Um, uh, Jimmy. Ok. Juan, me parece que estaba en su salida en este momento. Judith, good evening. Ok. Uh, Ivania. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen to Carly. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Kathy. Good evening. David, hello there. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. I am here. You are there, Nelson. Good evening. Good evening, Patty. Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Present teacher. Good. Christy. Mira, de camino, parece. Good evening, teacher. No, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Thank you, Christy. Hi, uh, teacher. Thank you, William. Jocelyn, creo que también lleva de camino. Good evening. Hello, thank you. And Ameris, creo que creo que no se conecta. Bien, entonces, ya que tiene, you have two activities, remember, to say the date, o sea, escriben el mes y la fecha. Puede ser September, puede ser November, okay, October, lo que quiera, ¿verdad? La hora, sencilla, y el lugar, warehouse, okay. Completen esos campos y luego cuando vengamos, yo les explico cómo vamos a trabajar. Richard, okay. disculpe, excuse me. Eh, sí. No hay la hoja, fíjese. Esta hoja, no, no, no la hay. 
¿Qué número es? Sí, pero independientemente, Cristi, puedes escribir sobre la hoja. Eh, eso es lo que quería hacer yo, pero no, ya la voy a buscar. Gracias. Ok, please. 27, Cristi. Ah, muy amable, gracias. Ahorita, ahorita, gracias. Okay. Sí, Cristi, recuerda que siempre utilizamos dos páginas, trabajamos con dos sí. páginas cada clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay, como hay... Okay. Ajá, siempre fíjate en la última conversación que estudiamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ahí vamos. Entonces, ok, pues, muchas gracias. Sí, en un momento, le pego un momento. Cher. Sí, Elizabeth. Tengo una pregunta. Sí. ¿A dónde enviaron ese, ese, ese manual? Eh, pues el manual está en la plataforma. Ah, Ajá. en la plataforma. Es sí, que la... creo que el primer... Eh... En el, en el primer módulo, creo que lo enviaron por correo. Eh, no. Sí, en el primer módulo creo que sí. Ahora no sé si se los enviaron por correo, aunque posiblemente Yo sí. estuve revisando los correos y no están. Por eso ah. preguntaba, pero si está en la plataforma no hay problema. Yo el lunes lo descargo sí, desde sí. ahí. en la plataforma lo pueden descargar. Ahí está ok, ahí. gracias. Ok, perfecto. Um, esto lo tienen dos actividades, ¿verdad? Que tienen proyecto I have to. ¿Qué cosa tienen que hacer? Y déjenme aquí. Revisar los. Lo de los grupos, ¿ok? Solo denme un momento mientras organizo esto lo de los grupos. Ok, see you in a moment.
Hello, teacher. Hello, ¿pudieron trabajar, este, Iris? No, perdón, es que iba entrando a la clase, no sé qué están haciendo. Ok, Juan. Igual, teacher. Sí. Teacher, que estoy en la, estaba en asesoría de la, de la universidad, okay. saliendo, voy. Vaya. Eh, van a trabajar en este cuadro, entonces, eh, si pueden, eh, pueden tomar de captura, lo que necesito que hagan es que por lo menos eh, escriban aquí qué es lo que tienen que hacer para alguna fecha en específico, cuándo, por ejemplo, puede ser. Sí, puede ser así. Ok, ¿cuántas horas? Sería, en el caso de ustedes, bueno, dos le he pedido a cada uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, en el grupo que yo les había puesto, entonces, eh, ingresen nuevamente, ¿verdad? Ingresen nuevamente y ahí escriben, ustedes se la dictan, ¿verdad? Escriben abajo de what, abajo de when, what time y where. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Ya lo voy a ingresar al grupo. Para que... Bien, no sé si le tomaron captura o, o, o lo copiaron. Eh, sí. Ok. Ya lo voy a ver. Para que. Gracias. Ok. Iris, ya envié la invitación, necesitas aceptar, ¿verdad? Mm, este no me aparece. La... Eh, Juan ya entró, así que lo envié. Mm. No me aparece, teacher, la invitación. Ahorita la volví a enviar. Mm. Ahorita, a ver si... Mm. No, no me parece. Yo creo que tiene problemas de estabilidad de internet. Lo que voy a hacer es que voy a traer a Juan acá a la sesión principal y aquí pueden trabajar. Porque sí. Okay. Juan, pueden trabajar acá en la sesión principal. Con Iris, ¿ok? Um, hello, Juan. Hello, teacher. Y trabajen en, en, la, en la sesión principal, en esta. Perfecto, perfecto. Ok, good. Juan. Hola. Vaya, te voy a dictar las mías. Perfecto. Um, number one. I, I need to check my email. Check mail. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, on Monday, 15. Perdón. Ah, perdón, sería on, on August 15. August. Uh -huh. um, where, where, uh, ok. What time? ¿Cuánto tiempo? At 8 a.m. ¿Cómo? At 8 
Ayem. No, ese sí no lo, no lo, no lo capto. A las 8 de la mañana. Ah, ok. Perfect. Where? ¿Dónde? Um, in my office. Office, ok. Perfect. Ahora yo, las mías. Vaya. Um, sí. What? Uh, to, I have to program for Zen. For Zen. Uh -huh. When? Every day? When? Every day, todos los días. Uh -huh. What time? Mm, to. Ver. ¿Cómo? Mm, two o'clock. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Where? Office. Okay. Eh, al principio, perdón, me dijiste que necesitas programar qué. Uh, no, I, quiero ver, tengo, ajá, sí, programar este, okay, um, para la venta, sell. Ah, uh -huh. sí. Ajá. Ah, vaya, vaya. Está bien. Eh, ahora sí quieres todo y la otra mía, entonces. Okay. Uh, I have to visit. Visit. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the client. Visit. Client. Client. Visit client. Okay. Uh -huh. When, Sería when eh, August 31. August, otra, agosto 31, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What time? At 10 a.m. 10 a.m., ok. Uh -huh. Where? Where? At the Starbucks. Los precios. Uh, Starbook. Sí. Uh -huh. Los próceres. Próceres. Yo creo que hay. Uh -huh. Si quieres decirme la otra tuya. No la tengo. <risa> ah. no. No. Quiero ver qué hago. Vamos a ver qué vamos a ver. Llamo, por ejemplo, llamar vendedor. ¿Cómo se dice vendedor? Eh, call. No, si sal, sale... El vendedor se llama, eh, se escribe salesperson, se pronuncia salesperson. Sales, ah, I have to call salesperson. Este, como llamar a, tengo que llamar a los vendedores, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. I have to sell a per seller person. Huh? Mm, um, ¿Cuándo? Este, los lunes, Monday. Monday, casi que todos los lunes. Every Monday. Uh -huh. What time? ¿Qué horas? A las... 9 de la mañana. Okay. Mm, 9 a.m. Uh -huh. Where? También desde la oficina. Office. Ok. Perfecto. Sí. Bueno, ya tenemos los dos. Estaría, ¿verdad, dicho? Sí, ya vamos a hacer los demás. Ok. Bueno. Teacher, una consulta. Ok, yes. 
eh, ¿verdad que cuando, eh, eh, si yo digo I have to, es cuando yo tengo, pero si quiere decir que, eh, digamos, un ejemplo, Catherine tiene, tengo que decir she has. Exacto. Ok. Ok, sí, ya voy, eso es lo que voy a explicar en estos momentos. Carly. Ok. Ok. Ahí. Mientras los demás se conectan. Okay, everybody, um, I'm going to explain something. El have to, have significa tener. Ahora, cuando vamos, ahora que vamos a, we're going to make the report, necesito que, eh, pues, le prestemos atención a esto. Las terceras personas siempre tienen, digamos, eh, pues, cierto tipo de conjugación diferente. Ahora, have y has is the same. Es lo mismo, have. Y has, en el sentido de la significado, significa tener que. Ahora, cuando digo, I have to, yo tengo que, you have to, y así sucesivamente. Pero en las terceras personas, with the third person, we have to say, has to, ¿verdad? Tenemos o debemos de decir, has to. She has to, eh, he has to, it has to. Si utilizamos el have para esas personas, entonces prácticamente no estaríamos... Eh, conjugando, diríamos el tener que, ella tener que. ¿Okay? Así que, pues, eh, tengamos esto en cuenta para esta actividad que vamos a hacer en este momento. Ok. Vamos a comenzar entonces con el report este. Van a seleccionar una actividad. Entonces vamos a decir, por ejemplo, Katy has to. ¿Qué tiene que hacer? Has to send emails, enviar correo. ¿Cuándo? Aquí se lo voy a escribir de esta manera para que no nos confundamos. Pero, por ejemplo, Katy has to. Uh, send report on September twelve at fíjense bien las palabras claves at two o'clock Puede ser mm, in the o oh, ser at o oh, in the company. Vamos a usar cualquiera de las dos palabras, ¿ok? Así que las palabras clave para hacer reportes on at y aquí at in, ¿ok? Eso debemos de tomar cuidado, ¿ok? So uh, we're going to make the report. Recuerden otra cosa. Para decir primero, segundo y tercero, ¿verdad? Se dice first. Second. Third. Pero para las fechas así son. Igual cuando decimos 21. Decimos 21st. Para, decimos, para decir 22, 20 second, 23, 23, bien extraño. Se utilizan pues los números, eh, prácticamente los números ordinales, ¿verdad? De orden, ¿verdad? Eso es para las fechas. Ok, so be ready with the sentence that you're going to tell me. Let's make the report. Comenzamos, eh, Carly. Can we start with you? Ok. 
Okay. And Kathy, Kathy has to take um, his song to presentation dance. Mm -hmm. On? Uh, in, on, on uh, August 20. At? Okay. At and two o'clock p.m. in San Jose School Santa Ana. Okay, very good. San Jose School Santa. Ana. Very nice. Thank you. Perfect, Kathy. Okay, Kathy, what about you? Um, Carly has to go corn festival on August twelve. 29th mm -hmm. at 7 50 a.m. in work. Aquí sería at work. Mm -hmm. At work, at work. Mm -hmm. Eso del at y el in es una cuestión de aprendérselo, ¿verdad? Cuando mm -hmm. decimos un lugar específico, utilizamos el at. Y si no, in, in the park, in the beach, no es un lugar tan específico, pero el trabajo sí. En la oficina, at the office, ¿verdad? At the hospital, but good, Kathy. Wow, let's continue with Roberto. Please, can you? Okay. Jocelyn has to celebrate your birthday. On November uh, 19th at uh, 7 p.m. in your house. Good one. In a care house, sería, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, let's continue now with Nelson and then Francisco. All right. Um, Marvin, he has to training a new personal on August uh, 33 at 20, 23rd. 23rd. Okay, 23rd 20. at 9 a.m. at Sales Room. Good one. Francisco, and then we go with Iris. Okay. Gabriel will give air conditioner maintains on August 50 at 80 o'clock p.m. in the company. Thank you. Uh, it is, and then we go with Ivania. Okay, teacher. Juan has to program sales every day at 2 p.m. Uh, in his office. Okay, uh, solo que aquí en, no se trata de every day, sino una fecha en específica, ¿verdad? Por eso les había puesto ese, ese ejemplo, pero um, dejémoslo así. Ok, Ivania and then Patty. Ivania, are you ready? Hi, teacher, voy llegando. Ah, ok. Eh, te dejo pero no después. entré. Ok, ya después te castigo, no te preocupes. Bye. <laughs> Patty, what about you and then uh, William? Okay. Nelson has to training be by Xerox. Uh, 23 to 25 August okay. at 8, 8 a.m. in your house. In his house, ¿verdad? En este caso, okay. ajá. Ah, pero, ok. ¿Verdad? Recordemos, his es de él y her es de ella. Ok. Thank you. William and then David. Eh, Roberto has, has to conference on September 16th. Up, eh, up, Hey, Hotel Sheraton. In, mm -hmm. uh, in Hotel David. Sheraton. Thank you. David and Flo. 
Ok. Eh, un, uno por... Only one. Eh, okay. Just select one. Uh, Elizabeth, she had to go to the municipal employees celebration on August 25th at 1 o'clock p.m. at Museum, Museum, no, Museo, dijo, no Museum. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay, Flor, and then you go with Judith. Uh, David has to attend a meeting at Seminary International Logics on August 16th at 8 o'clock in the Camara de Comercio del Salvador. Good one, Flor. Thank you. Judith and Gabriel. Francisco has to visit his parents on September 7 at 7 a.m. in Aguachapan City. Good one, thank you. Gabriel and Jocelyn. Judith has to go to the doctor on August 30 at 10 p.m. in the hospital. Perfect, Jocelyn and Juan. Okay, uh, William has to play soccer on August 50 at 3 p.m. in the Polideportivo Lourdes. Good one, Jesse. Thank you. Juan and Martin. Okay. Hello. Okay, Juan, Hello. are you ready? Um, it is check email. August 50, um, what time, 8 a.m., where office. Ok, necesito, Juan, que hagan oraciones, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces sería, it is has to, ¿verdad? Has to. ¿Cómo está el ejemplo? Lo siento, dicho, ya te me, olvidó, me olvidó poner eso. Ajá, ah, por eso aquí se sí, das cuenta, sí. ahí está el ejemplo, ok. Hay que estar pendiente con las indicaciones. Eh, Marvin, you go. Ok. Patty has three to Honduras eh, on September 5 to 9 at 8 o'clock a.m. in Honduras. Ok, good one. Thank you. Um, something important is that you have to create those ideas a veces solo captamos información. But your work is that in your brain process those information. That was well, different types of information, ¿verdad? Estuvo excelente. Thank you very much. We go now with another, um, well, the first one is this. Should Dev, um, sorry, mm -hmm. should the penalty be allowed in the country, debería ser aprobada la pena de muerte. Hmm, what's your opinion? Why? Why not? Okay. In this case, I would like to listen to some of you. What about if we listen to Kat and then Roberto? Your opinion is very important. Mm, in my opinion, it's complicated, but yes. But in certain case, which will be very serious or meritorious case. Okay. Kathy uh, says in some cases, certain cases, maybe extreme, is algunos extremos, right? You're talking about that. Okay, good one. Thank you. We go with Roberto and then Carly. Okay. Yes, fair it should be allowed because in the world there are many criminals. For me, it should be allowed more when the crime is more serious. But it should not. It should not be allowed for people with minor crimes. Okay. People with minor crimes, not necessary. Okay, that penalty. That's the opinion of Roberto. Good. Okay. 
uh, similar to Kathy, that some cases, right? Some extreme cases like murder, murder, pues, eh, asesinato, okay? Rape, is violation, maybe, okay? There are some cases in which, imagine, it is not the same, the rape of uh, an adult than a child, right? It's really hard. In ambos casos es difícil, but, Imagine those are like extreme cases. Todos esos son casos extremos. Okay, what about we have, uh, ¿quién va? Carly, ¿verdad? Carly Nelson. Okay, I did not because first of all, I think we all deserve a second chance. I also believe that no right to take anyone. In conclusion, I consider that the death penalty is not an acceptable option. Okay, not an acceptable option. We have a second chance, okay. Another good opinion from Carly, very nice. We go with Nelson and then we go with Flor. Uh, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> the death penalty will serve to deter offender from committing crimes that result in the death of others. In addition, it would serve as an example to those who had criminal tendencies. Second, another argument in favor of the death penalty is economic. Okay, nice. It is like uh, different consequences of, it is difficult to decide, right? It is really difficult to decide the, if, if we can take the life of another person. And remember that the process of uh, the justice is different. And sometimes, for example, here in Salvador, it is not always transparent. It is not so just or clear. So that's why we can have some difficulties, but definitely, yes. Uh, a lot of studies, muchos estudios en eso. Good. Yeah, just sitting and then Marvin. Okay. Um, for me, the that penalty has many points of view, but personal, it is not a fair meeting for people to pay for the serious crimes they have committing. But this meeting also of does not make it fair. Okay, very nice. Commit crime is cometer crimes. Okay, so it also uh, it is like like um, very important to take into account the mental state of a person. Okay, and some other uh, influences. Thank you, uh, Marvin, and then Flor. No sé si Flor ya pasó. I don't know. Flor, ¿qué me dices? Okay, teacher. Marvin, go. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, it's the early like six. And uh, why not I please or whatever we are know the ones decide who lives and who dies. Only divine justice to come from above. Okay. Okay, very nice. Okay. Um Bien, cuando tenemos judge, significa juzgar, judge, okay? So it is difficult to judge, right? It is not so, it's not that easy, okay? So thank you, Flor, for escribir. Yes, it is like um, even the, the people who decide that it has a, a, like a, a great weight. Tiene como un peso grande. Okay, in case of, uh, and Flor, we're going to finish with Flor. In my opinion, the that this penalty should not be applied. I agree with life in prison, imprisonment. Okay. Oh, we can say impression. Mm -hmm. Impression. Okay. Thank you, Flor. Applied is applicable. So Flor says eh, it should not be applied. Okay. We have some other um, types of punish. Yeah. Punish is castigo. 
como The Punisher. Si no han visto esa serie, good one. From, I think it is on Disney Plus. Punisher significa castigador, ¿verdad? Entonces, punish es castigo. Ok. Thank you for all your opinions. Como siempre les digo, all your opinions are very important to me. No se trata de quién está bien, quién está mal, but let's listen to some ideas. And that's uh, the point of this. Well, we go now with uh, this vocabulary. Prefixes. Prefijos. Ahora. No sé si se acuerdan cuando estaban en bachillerato y les hablaban de prefijos y sufijos. And what? Say what? What is that? So, prefix versus Suffix, bien. Los prefijos es como pre, prenatal, antes del nacimiento, preámbulo, antes de que pase, ¿verdad? Previo, antes, antes. Prefix are letters that go before the word. Prefix son, son letras que van antes de la palabra, de la palabra raíz. And suffix are letters that come at the end que van al final. Un ejemplo. Mm, vamos a poner im. Impossible. Como me son imposible. Ok. Y tenemos el suffix que puede ser el y. Y acá tenemos el ejemplo como vamos a poner otro Frequently. Ok. Entonces, eh, la palabra aquí es possible. Ok. El prefijo, the prefix is im, impossible. Ok. Now here we have the suffix. Ahí tenemos el sufijo. El sufijo va después al final. So, es, es L y la Y. Frequent, frecuente. Frequently, frecuentemente. Las palabras. Sin el prefijo, without prefix and suffix, they make sense. Las palabras sin prefijo y sufijo tienen sentido. Pero cuando le agregamos letras antes o después, letters before or after the word, the meaning doesn't change a lot. No siempre cambia por completo, pero sí hay una alteración. Ok. En caso de que quieran copiar eso, ¿verdad? Prefijo, sufijo. Ok. Entonces tenemos in, impossible. L-Y frequently. And that's it. Entonces tenemos acá, vamos a trabajar solo con los prefijos, prefixes. For negative adjectives. Entonces, déjenme ver. Tenemos acá. En los adjetivos, déjenme ver acá, sí, para cambiar esto. Ok. En este caso, tenemos que los adjetivos están con negro, with, eh, black color, and the prefix with red. Entonces, normalmente, estas son las dos eh, opciones. ¿Verdad? Sería on y sería in. Por ejemplo, mm, healthy significa saludable, pero decimos on healthy. Oigame, on, on. No es un, es con o. On healthy es lo contrario de saludable. ¿Verdad? No saludable. Mm, tenemos acá, faithful, como todos los hombres, significa fiel. Faithful, anoten, faithful. Si decimos unfaithful, es lo opuesto, que sería infiel. Okay? Eh, ahora aquí tenemos eh, prefixes with in. Tenemos, por ejemplo, capable. Capable significa capaz. Incapable sería incapaz. Okay? Entonces, eh, son como que clean es limpio, unclean sería no limpio o sucio. Ok, so tenemos estos, ¿verdad? Yes, Flor, hello. 
teacher, tengo una consulta. Okay. Eh, como estamos utilizando on, in, entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia? O sea, ¿cómo saber cuándo usar on o in? Ok, uh, Flor, in this case, en este caso es similar a los, pues, verbos, como te digo, es como para lo, los verbos regulares y los irregulares, que hay que, mm, como memorizárselos, porque no te puedo decir que la palabra que comienza con adjetivo con a, porque aquí también comienza con a, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí es on y aquí es in. ¿verdad? Correcto, eso es lo que estaba viendo que eh, estaba. Uh -huh. No hay un patrón, como a veces le digo, there is a pattern, hay un patrón y eso te ayuda a, a, a que lo entendas según esa lógica. Pero en uh -huh. este caso sí es un tanto como ha perdido las palabras, oh, ¿verdad? Okay, uh -huh. ok, ok, gracias. You're welcome. Entonces tenemos acá, por ejemplo, solo van a haber dos opciones principalmente, ¿ok? Van a haber esas dos opciones. Pero aquí dice, in va a cambiar cuando va, cuando viene antes una P, una M y una L, y también una R, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya no es IN, sino que va a ser IM, IL o IR. Para ON no hay variedad, solo es ON, repito. Si aquí, eso es lo único que, que, que podría tener como lógica, mira, Flor. Impossible. Impatient. Ya. Yeah. Um, aquí, y, eh, illegal, ¿verdad? Irregular, ¿ok? Entonces, eso sí tiene un patrón, mira, si va a P, M, L o una R, va a llevar in, o va a llevar il, o va a llevar ir, ¿ok? De lo contrario, sería on y sería in. Ya lo vamos a empezar a usar, ¿verdad? Vamos a dar un, una repasada después. We're going to uh, have a review about this. I need you to select one. Necesito que seleccionen uno. Uno que a ustedes le, le, le parezca interesante. It could be, for example, immortal. Mortal, ya saben que es mortal, pero immortal es como Highlander, de alguien que no, no, no puede morir. Ok, select one of these. We start with Marvin and then Iris. Ok, Marvin, select anyone. Ok, uh, insane. Thank you, um, Iris, and then Christy. Um, impossible. Thank you, Christy, Francisco. Uh, Micrófono, Christy, porque no te escuchamos. Activa el audio. Uh, ¿Dónde leo, teacher? Perdón. Cualquiera de esas. Sí, cualquiera de, 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 de las palabras no que están ahí. Ok. Um, un nervio. Un nervio. Ok, unable. Thank you. Francisco and Roberto. Impolite. Ah, ahí sería impolite. Bien raro esa, ¿verdad? Impolite. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Impolite. Perfect. Gracias. Roberto Gracias. and then Elizabeth. Good. Illegal. Mm -hmm. uh, we go now with who else? Irregular. Thank you, William and Judith. Okay, William, you go. In clean. Okay. And In mobile. Thank you. And Gabriel, and then we go with Patty. Irreverent. Thank you, Patty. And then we go with Jocelyn. In anime. Nice. Jocelyn, then we go with Nelson. On clean. Good. Nelson and Kathy. Impatient. Okay, impatient. Kathy. Okay. So we're going to continue. Vamos entonces con eso. Después lo vamos a seguir viendo. Es importante quizás es de tener en cuenta que... Permítanme. Ok. Es importante, it is important to have this in mind. Que no necesariamente lo vamos a utilizar todos, but 
My objective is you can have an idea about what you're going to study in the next levels. Todo eso lo van a empezar a ver en los demás niveles. But my idea is that you can start learning little by little. Poco a poco ya comiencen a ver que eso no, le, no les parezca fuera del otro mundo. Okay. When you change the level, you think, oh, okay, I have an idea about this. Don't think about, wow, what is that? It is uh, like from astral things. Están hablando de cosas astrales, sino que tengo una pequeña idea. No se preocupen si, si piensan, teacher, pero eso no sé, no lo entiendo. Relax. Este es un agregado que yo doy. Okay, y lo vamos a seguir estudiando el lunes. Let's continue with this. Should the penalty, seguimos hablando de la pena de muerte. Ok, ya que son políticos, si ustedes me están diciendo si sí o no, voy a ver si van a matar a los ciudadanos o oh, no. Let's listen now to, what about if we listen to Patty and then David. Ok, Patty, are you ready to give your opinion? Ok. Please. Um, that panel uh, shown to be uh, allowed, allowed, allowed because just God can take life. That's the that uh, I don't agree with that panel. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Very nice. Let's listen now to David and then we go with Ivani. David, are you ready for this activity? Okay, maybe. No, not. teacher, no. I'm okay, not ready. Let's, okay, let's move uh, with Ivania and then Judith. Okay. Bueno, es complicado, pero. I know. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think uh, who be the best <laughs> as a fear point is who stop having that additional expense in prison mm -hmm. and in addition people will be more afraid of committing illegal acts okay a uh, very interesting point Ivania stop expenses from government to jails para las cárceles imagine there are in the, in the jails there are a lot of prisoners and they are having food and a lot of resources or expenses from our taxes. También hay bastante presentación. Imagine our taxes, nuestros impuestos, go into there. Okay, so that's another interesting point. Okay, well, let's continue to Judith and then Gabriel. Okay. From the point of view as a punish for people who commit criminal acts, I could say yes, but there are several situations with, within it, such as religion, in addition that the constitution also establishes that life will be respected respect from the moment of conception okay yeah another good point the constitution says that you can take any life but the constitution should be changed by the uh, assemblea legislativa they can change that okay but it is like a really really difficult uh, decision thank you um we go now with gabriel and then francisco okay there are many who deserve it, but others who are just in unjustly impressioning. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's correct. And some of them deserve, some prisoners deserve that. Deserve is merecer. Some prisoners deserve maybe this punish, but also there are in prison or in jail a lot of people, innocent people. Well, not a lot, but not much of that, there are some. So that's really complicated. And we go now, thank you. Let's listen to Francisco and then Elizabeth. Frank, ready? 
Ok, ok. Sí. Eh, my opinion, the death penalty shall not exist. But in extreme case, of, uh, without human sense, do they write? To lie, if they should. Okay, yes. I consider, as you say, there are extremes. And people have rights. La gente tiene derechos. Not only the prisoners, but yeah, a lot of people. Unfortunately, um, rights are violent. Some violent derechos, but that's okay. Thank you, Frank. Uh, Elizabeth okay. and Helen. Si está disponible. Okay. No, teacher, because I don't think that taking that action solves the problem at the moment i think not but maybe i will change the mind later okay very interesting elizabeth maybe that's not the solution to solve the problem but that could be a change but elizabeth says no thank you and helen are you okay Well, let's listen to Christy and then Iris. Christy, are you ready with this? Okay. Yes. Um, can the penalty generally be allocated? Why, why not? Uh, according to this perspective, the, the penalty will serve to the first criminal from committing crimes crime. that result in the crimes, 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 crimes. Okay, gracias. Okay, that nice. result in the, in the death of others, it will also serve as an example to choose a who has a criminal tendency tendency in second place another argument in favor of the the penalty is the economic okay thank you yes okay very nice thank you christy good good point we go now with iris and then juan Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, in my opinion, it's a difficult subject. However, there are people who only do evil and aren't aware of what they do. If it were in my hands, I would possibly punish in another way. But I repeat, it's difficult. Okay, yes, it is not that Hello. easy. Okay, no, it's not fácil, I know, but as it is said, if it were in my hands, it were in my hands, so imagine. Mm -hmm. that, that's the point, that one person can decide, but sometimes we have been affected by some, some crime, so imagine. Uh, it is different, the opinion of a person that sees the crime in a person que el crimen, that another person that has that is affected by the crime. So that's really hard, it's difficult. But thank you, Iris. We go with Juan and William. Juan, are you ready Hello. with this? Hello, teacher. In my opinion, it should not be allowed. Okay. Is allowed, 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 allowed because we all have the right to life. Okay, you have the right to life. Yes, and that's from the Constitution. Yes. And okay. William, ready for this activity? Okay, maybe not. Well, we're going to continue with this. Now let's listen to um, this um, listening exercise. What we're going to do is to uh, listen a paragraph of a person that person is going to say the dates 
of uh, the activities, I'm sorry, the activities that this person uh, when he has to do and what uh, he has to do. Cuando las tiene que hacer, que es el date, que es la fecha, and what in the activity, que se refiere a el que, que va a hacer. Okay, so it is not necessary to um, draw this chart. Uh, not necessarily to dibujar el cuadro, but at least uh, write, write, escribir what you can listen. Lo que ustedes puedan escuchar. Okay? Only date and activity. Yeah. This yeah. person is going to say a lot of things, but what matters the most is the date and the activity. Lo que importa más es la fecha y la efectividad. Ah, esta persona va a hablar y habla, ¿verdad? Como político. Pero lo que importa acá, what matters is la fecha y la actividad. Ok. Hi, everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. Either way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friend will prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay, and we're going to listen again. Hi, everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. Either way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends will prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, now you told me, uh, does anybody wrote some activities? I may levanta la manita del emoji if it is not necessary to have a complete sentence. Pero si solo tienen la actividad o la fecha, that could be okay. So you tell me, okay, we have Flor. Uh, what do you think, Flor? Uh, a date uh, next month, October, Friday, uh, Tuesday, 21, 21 First. no, 21st, exact. Mm -hmm. uh, October, Friday, 29th. Okay, very good. Today, those fetches, very nice. Okay, 
You tell me the activities or the dates. Me dicen las actividades o la fecha. Ok. No problem. Si tienes solo uno, ok. Say it. No problem. Vamos a ver, Marvin. Una, Marvin. One. One. Come on. Then it is. Yo no sé si mi bocina está mal, pero más o menos escuché, teacher. A ver. Um, en 11 o 14 de October. Uh -huh. um, uh, has in the boss en una reunión con su jefe. Ok. Nice. Yeah, good. Meeting with the boss. Yeah, nice. It is and then you did. Uh, on Sunday 14, I have to clean my house. Okay. Interesante, Iris. No, es tu creatividad. Casi, casi. Thank you. Me la agregó un poquito, un poquito me la agregaste, but nice. Perfect, Iris. Okay, Judith, what's yours? And then, Patty. Ya vamos a comparar con el texto. Let's go to the fecha. Sunday, okay. December 5. 5th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you. Good one. Patty, your turn. 21st October, final report. Oh, uh, meaning your boss. Meaning, uh -huh, with my boss. In this case, como es hombre, sería with his boss. His boss. Okay. okay, thank you. And what about um, Frank? Any activity or date? Una actividad o fecha que he escuchado? I can hear you. Okay, okay. Uh, October 23rd. October, okay. Third, mm -hmm. October third. Thank you, very nice. What about Nelson? Do you have one, Nelson? Um, October twenty third. Uh, finally, report. Okay. Um, I believe Wednesday's meeting with his boss, and okay. Sunday as for party on Diego House. Ah, eso sí escuchaste, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, very nice. A party, yes. This person is talking about a party too. Good one. Okay, I'm going to present the I'm going to present the program. La hora okay. de la verdad. Yeah, I don't know if it's cierto. A ver. Que te veo que son bien creativo. Me gusta esa creatividad. Okay. Let's start. Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends will prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay, and just to, to, to mention, there are some activities that are kind of interesting. Cuando decimos single party, okay, significa despedida de soltero. Interesting, right? And when we say also get married is casarse, okay. And here we have honeymoon is eh, luna de miel, verdad? So 
you can have an idea you can have an idea about these activities las actividades de este buen hombre okay nice then and let's continue with this just we have 20 minutes 20 minutes y terminamos okay let me see we're going now with the second speaking activity interesting question si se dan cuenta las preguntas van como van cambiando y ya son un poquito más de análisis no es solo decir um, my routine is mi rutina eh, las actividades que, que, que hacemos diarias sino que ya es de dar su opinión de acuerdo a cómo ustedes piensan verdad should everybody have the same salary no matter the job why ¿Verdad? ¿Deberían todos tener el mismo salario sin importar el trabajo? Mm. Ok. Let's look into some of your opinions. Jocelyn, can we start with you? ¿Podemos comenzar contigo? Ok, teacher. One moment. Um, ok. Uh, for me, not everyone deserves the same salary because it shows the pain according to the performance. Uh, cap capacity of each person. Okay, nice. Performance significa desarrollo, ¿verdad? De lo que la gente hace, ¿verdad? Very nice. Deserve es merecer. Not, Jocelyn says, not everybody deserves. Okay, let's listen to some other. What about if we listen now to Carly and then we listen to Ivani. Okay, teacher. And should everybody and how to sign salary? No, ma no matter the job. And I don't think it's correct because there are jobs that require more efforts than other, but there are also functions that need a lot of preparation to develop. Okay, interesting. There are some jobs that they require, requiring, they require more preparation or abilities, specific abilities. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Now let's listen to Ivania, and after Ivania, we go with Kathy. Okay, for me, no, because the, mo the motivation of each one out of to do or job well or to continue preparing yourself and to have a good salary. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Yes, definitely. It is one of the motivation things, the salary. Okay. And good one, Ivania. Let's listen now to Kathy and then Roberto. In my opinion, no. Science, to a certain extent, the salary is in accordance on the occasion of the knowledge and performance that is, is had in each area. Mm -hmm. Depends on the work, the performance in, the, in every area, right? Okay, very nice. Remember that in a company, we have different levels, different areas, different activities. So that's your point. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Roberto, then Iris. Okay. Well, for me, they should not have the same salary because as long as it depends on the profession that a person has. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> depends on, right? Depende de. Okay. It's not that the same for everybody. Okay. Thank you. It is, and then we go with the. Hello, teacher. Hello there. In my opinion, no. According to my experience, there are people who earn a lot of money and not because they work. On the other hand, there are people who make an effort and give their best and their remuneration is not fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Voy a meter eso aquí. Fair. Good. Fair. Pero uh -huh. si decimos it's not fair, es, no es justo. Ok. So, that's a phrase. Es eh, una frase que sale a veces en películas cuando el papá le dice a la niña, tú no sabes, bla, bla, bla. Y la chica dice, oh, daddy, it's not fair. No es justo. So, what it is says that, yes, we have different cases and extreme. There are a lot of people and we all know this kind of employee. Conocemos este tipo de empleado. They have a good salary, a really high salary, but they perform and they work it is not that good. Su trabajo como que no es muy bueno. And we have some other people that they have low salary and they are making an effort. Y están haciendo un buen esfuerzo. They need a reward. También necesitan eh, un motivante que es reward. Es como una recompensa. Okay. Unfortunately, we have different cases. Thank you, Iris. And I will go with Judith. And then Francisco. Each job has different activities and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And you think, yes, it should, everybody should have the same salary. So they will the same salary. Yes or no? Judith. No. No. Okay. Thank you. We go now with Frank. Con Francisco, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, in my opinion, no. Uh, everything should be according to a skill, a skill or academic preparation. Okay, yes, depends on the preparation that you have had. In preparation means studies or time or effort or money. Imagine, because you study or you give your time to, to, to yes, to, to develop abilities. The, obviously, damos tiempo para desarrollar habilidades. Or sometimes money for some capacitations, okay? Thank you, we're going to continue later. In this case, let me see. What do we have here? Okay, we have um, <laughs> your uh, conversation, Susan and Adele, la cantante. Okay, so here we have uh, Susan says, Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 76th, okay? So if you notice, eh, tenemos que cuando decimos el día, decimos on Monday, ¿verdad? On Monday, on Friday. Y para abonar a esto, tenemos el siguiente cuadro que es muy, muy importante. Acerca de prepositions of time. Eso lo vimos el módulo pasado. Bueno, todos lo vieron el módulo pasado. The, the last level. We use on to say on Saturday para decir el día en específico o podemos decir el mes y la fecha on January 23rd o podemos decir el día, el mes y la fecha on Monday, February 5th o podemos decir on Wednesday, no Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Y en este caso tenemos in Esto es más concreto. Para decir in, decimos in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning. Ok. Luego tenemos at, que es para la hora. At 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Ok. Ahora vamos a hacer un ejercicio sencillo para las fechas. Díganme una fecha, pero no me digan la ocasión especial. ¿Verdad? Puede ser un aniversario, puede ser el... Eh, un cumpleaños solo quiero la fecha ok en este caso vamos a utilizar este formato I'm sorry it's not like this este es el formato que vamos a utilizar on el mes y la fecha it can be the day you got married que es el día que se casaron the day you got divorced, el día que se divorciaron, when you got a promotion, cuando se tuvieron una promoción, cuando 
estoy mirando los estudios, al no, whatever, ok? You tell me a specific date, una fecha en específico, ok? Así como está, on January 23rd, ok? Let's start in this case with Kathy and then we go with Iris, ok, Kathy? Um, on January, January 10th. Okay, good one, nice. Iris and Kathy. On April 26th. Good. Carly and Judith. On September 6th. Nice. Judith and Jocelyn. On December 10th. Okay. December. Mm -hmm. December 10th. Thank you. Jocelyn and Frank. On August 3rd. Good. Frank and Roberto. On August 18. Okay, August 18. Nice. Roberto and Ivan. On August 27. Thank you. Ivania and Nelson. On May 24. Good. Nelson and Marvin. On okay, Nelson. On Wednesday. Uh... October 5. 5th. 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 Good. Uh, Marvin, and then we go with Chrissy. On 14 January. On January 14. Okay. On January 14. Okay. Christy and Patty. December 5th. On December 5th. Okay. Patty and December William. 5th. On November 15th. Good. William and Flor? On May 12th. Good. Flor and Elizabeth? On August 13th. Nice. And Elizabeth and Gabriel? On December 21st. Good. Gabriel and Juan? On January 7th. Good. Juan and William? On, on May 23rd. Okay, and William, what's yours? Okay, we're going to finish with this. Vamos a terminar ya con, con esta actividad. Es la última. And should everybody have the same salary, no matter the job, why, why not? Okay, in this case, I would like to listen to Flor and then Francisco. I'm not Francisco, ya pasó. Okay, Flor and Gabriel. Um, in for for me, now the remuneration of the job is according the responsibilities assigned assigned in Assign. the each job assigned in the each job. Okay, interesting. Depends. Listen, some of you mentioned time preparation. Abilities, but Flor mentioned responsibilities, another key word. And let's go with Gabriel and then uh, Juan. My opinion is no, okay. because salary depends on the fusion in the work. Mm -hmm. Easy, and that's correct. We go now with Juan and then David. One moment. Okay. Teacher, please. Okay. Te pregunto después. David and Marvin. David, are you okay? Uh, yes. Please. I think no, because there are some different jobs that require, for example, academic preparation, physical activity, and some, some of them exposure to risk. Yeah. So if everyone earns the same, I think it will be unfair to those who work harder. Definitely it is. Some of them, it's, they have exposure to risks. And yes, remember that there are different types of occupations or professions or jobs. Some of them require mental abilities or physical work. Okay, let's move now to Marvin and then Nelson. Okay. Um, no necessary the same salary. Uh, but what should be paid for? 
for example, we now take our, our country, take other health personnel and workers whose salary is very low. Okay, yes. And Marvin says that maybe not the same salary, but a fair salary. Salary full. Thank you. And Nelson and Patty. Mm, how do you say aspirar? Mm -hmm. hey, aspire. Aspire, okay. You aspire. Mm -hmm. For equality, we should all aspire to earn the same salary. But for the same equality, it would look bad because some were more and try to have better skill than others. Yeah, it would look like pretty weird. Se vería raro, se vería malo, okay? That's another. Remember that in the companies we have kind of competitions as well, right? Thank you. Uh, we go now with Patty and then Christy. Um, I don't think so because there are different types of jobs and every job gets the point according to the job that every job performs. Yeah, good one. That's it. Christy and William. Okay. Um, so everyone has the same salary regardless of the jobs, right? Uh, concept, of, concept, concept of equal fight for the same job women and men it will receive the same fight for work that is the same or similar, or similar equal fight for work of equal value of women Okay. Okay, thank you, William and Elizabeth. No, because all professions are different. Mm -hmm. Thank you, very nice. And Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. Yes. Um. Okay, maybe you're not ready. No, it's a little. Sí, sí, ahorita. Okay, nice. Solo que lo fui a buscar en WhatsApp, lo tengo. Okay. Ahorita. Uh, I don't know. Because the effort that is one makes is different in the function inclined is each job also changed. Okay, thank you, very nice. Good one. I'm going to check the attendance list, say hi, hello, good evening, or goodbye, and I'm going to check. And please, Elizabeth, hello. Hello. Thank you, Lord. I hear. Good. Francisco. Hi. Hi, uh, Gabriel. Hi. Good. Helen. Iris. Hello, sir. Hello. Judith. Hello. Hello, Ivania. Hello, teacher. Nice. Carly. Good night, teacher. Good night, Kathy. Hello. Hello, David. Here, teacher. Hello, um, Marvin. Present. Good. Um, Nelson. Good evening. Good evening, Patty. Good night. Good night, Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Christy. Hello, Good night, William. teacher. Nice. Uh, William. Good night, teacher. Good night, Jocelyn. Good night, teacher. Okay, and Gladys. Okay, I'm going to just mention two things. Solo voy a mencionar dos cosas. Uno, es importante que terminen el midterm 
hay todavía tres personas que no la han finalizado. Necesito que lo terminen. Um, mañana a las 8 de la mañana es la última revisada que, que voy a dar para poder pasar las notas. Así que los terminan ahora, después de la clase o este mañana temprano. Depende de ustedes, pero esa es la deadline, ¿verdad? Ese es el la, 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 la último momento, la fecha para pasar las notas. Así que necesito que lo termine. La mayoría ha terminado todo. Solo uno le hace falta la, finalizar la unidad 2. ¿Verdad? Eh, así que, por favor, el midterm. Y con respecto a las speaking activities, eh, felicitarles, están avanzando. Solo recordarles también que hay que preparar ese, esa respuesta. No tiene que ser extensa. ¿Verdad? Puede ser un poco eh, corta, concreta, pero con una idea. Y recuerden bien, practicar la pronunciación. ¿Verdad? Porque veo que algunos eh, solo la hacen y ya no la practican. Y acá vienen a leer y es ahí como ya lo han practicado. Entonces se traban un poquito. ¿Verdad? Entonces es importante eso. Estamos a medio curso. Nos faltan dos semanas. De ahora en adelante la, la pregunta van a ser un poquito más no complicada, pero sí va a requerir un poco de análisis. Y eso es bueno porque están utilizando otro vocabulario. Así que ánimo. Nos veo el lunes. Y ahora se queda este, Katy. Ok, Katy, te quedas un par de minutos, ok? Nos vemos. Descansen, disfruten el fin de semana. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Ok, Katy, eh, dime, eh, do we have difficulties with uh, any grammar structure, vocabulary, topic? Conversations, uh -huh. tenemos dificultades con alguna de esas. Um, quizás un poco con lo que explicó ahora de lo que son los prefijos. Ok. Uh -huh. yeah. Los prefijos eh, pueden, pueden ser utilizados para un propósito en específico. Por ejemplo, para dar referencia a algo anterior, por ejemplo, prenatal, previo, ¿verdad? Entonces, antes. En este caso, son prefijos para uh, adjetivos negativos, pero cuando decimos negative adjectives, we are talking about opposite. Estamos hablando del significado opuesto. El uh -huh. significado de, de meaning, the opposite meaning, is going to be defined by using on or using in. Entonces, a esas palabras que tú ya muchas de estas las conoces, y eso puede ser aplicado a, a, a todos los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos, por ejemplo, kind, ¿verdad? Kind significa amable, pero si decimos unkind, estamos diciendo que no es amable o es pesado. Obviamente, hay un adjetivo en específico para decir pesado, por ejemplo, si decimos rude, si alguien uh -huh. es rude, es rudo, es pesado, ¿verdad? Es grosero. Pero también podemos decir unkind. Y si tú me dices, hey, teacher, pero ¿por qué no bien solo decimos rude en lugar de decir unkind? Es parte de, del vocabulario extenso en inglés. Entonces, sí podemos decir rude, pero si utilizamos esto, eh, entonces eh, tu inglés se escucha mejor. Como que tenés más eh, amplitud en tu vocabulario. Eso es. No estás oh. obligada. You are not pushed to use this. Puedes decir mm -hmm. rude, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en lugar de decir unclean, porque clean es limpio, unclean es no limpio o sucio. Pero mm -hmm. obviamente, tú puedes decir dirty. Y dirty o dirty significa sucio. No problem. ¿Ok? Ok, y en el caso que veo que van on, in, I'm, I'll, pues ¿en qué momento va a cambiar lo que es el, lo Ajá. anticipado? Al... Ajá. El problema es con estos dos, ¿verdad? No mm. hay una regla específica, digamos, para el uso de on, in. Lo que sí hay una regla específica es para el uso de estos tres. Fíjate uh -huh. bien. Te das cuenta como el in es la letra, el, la vocal i se repite, pero esta no. Uh -huh. Esa no se repite. Entonces, en este caso, aquí dice, 
que eh, la palabra, el prefijo in cambia cuando viene antes de una P. Acá. De una uh -huh. M. Acá. De una L. Acá. Y de una R. Acá. O sea, cuando veamos un adjetivo con P, por ejemplo, practical, es práctico, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. no vamos a decir on practical ni in practical, vamos a decir in practical. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ya. Okay. Tenemos esto acá, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí tenemos eh, eh, illegal, logical, illegible, ¿verdad? Tenemos, por ejemplo, loyal, leal, ¿verdad? Illoyal. Tenemos acá. Uh, eh, regular, irreverent, irreversible. Vamos a ver otro adjetivo con. Eh, podemos decir. Si queremos. Podemos decir. Regular. Creo que ya está aquí. Regular. Sí, aquí está regular. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, cuando tenemos la R, ya no vamos a decir el on ni el in, sino que la. ¿Verdad? Solo aquí. Eh, yeah. Si te das cuenta, cambia en lugar de la N, cambia la M, L o R. Ok. Ok. Así que eso sería. Esto es, eh, es parte del vocabulario extendido que les doy. O sea, uh -huh. si te das cuenta, esto es para que ustedes tengan una idea. Cuando ustedes vean estas palabras, tengan una noción. No es que las van a conocer todas. Ok. ¿verdad? Pero sí, y te he notado más fluidez, Katy. Estás practicando más. Estoy viendo más películas y cosas uh -huh. que vayan más en inglés, no que vayan los títulos, pero me estoy guiando un poquito más por eso. Sí, se nota una leve diferencia. Ah, entonces, eh, tu vocabulario está cambiando. Uh -huh. Está cambiando. Entonces, eso me parece muy bien, ¿verdad? Te felicito, sigue así. ¿Verdad? Dos semanas más, de ahí estamos en vacaciones. De ahí, cuando volvamos al otro curso, si estás conmigo con otro teacher, este, siempre dar una repasada para que no vayas en blanco. Uh -huh. Date cuenta cómo estabas en el, en el nivel anterior, que sí tenías una buena, tenías, tenías una buena base de inglés porque te gusta. Sí. ¿Verdad? Pero si te, las preguntas ahora ya siento que das tu opinión más concreta. Como te digo, uh -huh. no, es, no es necesario que hables un montón. Sí te puedes entender, pero a veces con, con palabras clave puedes dar una idea bien concreta y y te escuchas más pro, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, ¿Verdad? Eso sería que a ti sigue así, ¿verdad? Ánimo. Gracias. Ok. See you on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes, ¿eh? Ok. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.